Straight ahead on Lunch Break. It is here, the last day of 2019. I'm the sure best time of the workday is Lunch Break with Jay Crawford. We have to help you make sure Straight ahead on Lunch Break. It is here, the last day of 2019. I'm sure you've made a new year's resolutions on how to make some interesting and fun drinks to celebrate. We'll have some of those for you. With it being New Year's Eve, you may need tips on how to make some interesting and fun drinks to celebrate. We'll help you we'll avoid that We'll have some of those for you. And over. if you don't want to end up like underway. this tomorrow, pay attention. We'll it's help your you lunch break. With Jay Crawford. Crawford. I don't know what, what that guy got into. But <laughs> I know. It's that your lunch well. break. <laughs> with Jay Happy New Year's Crawford. Eve, everybody. And welcome to lunch break. What the last guy got into 2019. I'm Jay Crawford. 12 hours from this. I know. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. And welcome to lunch break. The last day of 2019. I'm Jay Crawford. We're 12 hours from this. I know. I was going to say, wait a minute. Is this a new century? That's crazy, though, because it's the year 2020. I remember when we brought in the new century. I was going to say, wait a minute. Is this a new century? Are. It's crazy it's, though because uh, a it's whole the year, year 2020. Just I remember when we brought in last year, uh, New the New Year's Century and, and the new is. millennium, yeah. and here the we are. The countdown has been on. It's, We've been less than 100 days, and so now just I'm going to be like this year, last year, uh, New Year's Eve. Crazy, single lady. Crazy. It okay, is. in a New Year's yeah. tradition, the countdown has been on. We always make resolutions. Most of us break them by the 15th of the month. That's a crazy. Crazy. Okay, in a New Year's tradition, New Year's Eve, we always make resolutions. Most of us break them by the 15th of the month. That's a fact. Save more money. Three of the most common good house. New Year's, Year's Eve made a list of 20 to make things uh, to consider as possible Eat healthier, resolutions. lose weight, so, here's save a that caught more money. Add That's more universal. citrus yeah. Good to our diet. Made a list healthy of 20 skin. things to consider okay, as possible resolutions. Okay, that makes sense. Book all your doctor's so, appointments for the that entire I year. Add more I'm not that citrus organized. No, 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 my diet's aggressive. Healthy and skin. And become a plant Okay, that makes owner. sense. Book all your hmm. doctor's appointments for the entire year. According to year. I'm not that organized. 71% of people surveyed want to eat healthier. 54% want to lose weight. And 32% want to spend. According to them in 2019, 7 yeah, that percent makes of people sense. Survey yeah. Everyone wants to, to get healthier, healthier and have 54 more money. 54% yeah. want to lose weight. And we all have the right idea, spend, right. and then Less somewhere money. around the yeah. middle of the month we sense. fall off. And Everyone wants to get healthier yeah, and have more money. Yeah, I know. Money. It's That's tough. Yeah. It's very and tough. And we all Our have digital the right idea, has right. and then somewhere around the middle of the month we fall off. From a pro on how to help you keep your New Year's resolution. Yeah, I know. It's tough. It's very tough. Our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney, has some tips from a pro on how to help you keep your New Year's resolution. So we want to set you up for success because those can be tough to stick to. So we brought in New Year's Eve, everyone is obviously focused on those. Fear is not an option, so we want to set you up to talk success because do that. can be tough Thank to you for joining to. us, Monica. So we've brought in personal growth expert and author of Thank Fear you for is having not me. an option, Monica one Burke from New York to talk to us about how to do that. About New Thank you for joining us, Monica. Just coming up with one in the first place. So what are your tips for us to do that? Thank you for having me. You want to try one to tap into your inner voice. If you identify that you want to make more money in the coming year, really look and see where that desire is coming from. You want to try to tap into your inner voice. Tap into that. Identify that you want to make more money in the coming year. Things that maybe you're too afraid to go after and and tap into that. Hear what the small desires that you have. Okay, so once you narrow down what it is that's actually truly your authentic goal, and what do you do to just get Come started in the first place. That first step can okay, be very so hard. Okay, so once you've narrowed it can be very down what it is for sure. that's actually so truly I your authentic to goal, this what do you do to, do to do just this? get started in so the first place? That first step can be very hard. Have. It can be very years overwhelming, for maybe sure. 10 pounds so I suggest to create it to be this and before usually to do they create it to do this. So a big this. resolution most people have higher in the new year to lose weight, maybe 10 pounds or whatever sugar. it is. But I and suggest usually they look at what it takes to do those things. Who do you have to be in order to follow through with that goal? Cut out sugar. So to show up for yourself, you need to be accountable. Look at what it takes to be responsible. Who do you have to be in order to follow through with that goal? So if those things are on your to-be list, then you'll be able to show up for yourself. You need to be accountable. All right, so we're clear with what it is that we want. And why we want so it. We're focusing on how to be list, versus then you'll be able to, to manifest what's on your to-do How do we list. stay committed all year right, long so we're versus clear just with what burning out after a couple weeks? And why we want it. We're focusing on Great how question. to be versus what to do. The most important do. thing is to have fun along the way. How do we stay committed the all year long versus hard. just burning out after a couple weeks? It can be overwhelming weeks. as well. And Great question. You know, met with fears that come up. The most important thing is to have fun along the way. Especially if we're working really hard and we're not feeling like we're making progress fast enough. We are, you know, met with fears that come up. Acknowledge how far you've come. Especially if we're working really hard and we're not feeling like we're making already, progress fast enough. And you'll have so if much you're more able to stop every step energy of the way to continue and with your goals and, and appreciate you know, and have gratitude for life what can you've be done difficult. already, so if you then you'll have so much more the process along energy the way, to continue with your goals make it much easier. You know, enjoying the process. I love that. Thank you for these tips, so Monica. And happy new year. you enjoy the process along the way, it will happy make it much easier. Thank you. Enjoying the process. I love that. Thank you for these tips, Monica. And happy new year. And also information about her book, Fear is Not an Option. Happy new year. Thank you.
Thanks, Stephanie. You can find links to connect with Monica Berg on WKYC.com and also information about her book, Fear is Not an Option. For their Jerry New Romney. Year's resolutions. Thanks, so, Stephanie. Lunch break, we want to know the camera and what asked. some of the Channel 3 news personalities have said for their New Year's resolutions. So, lunch break, went around with the camera and asked. Take a look. All right, all right. Here we go. So, my New Year's resolution is to become the biggest weather god right. in Northeast Ohio. Here we go. Yeah. So my New Year's resolution the weather is to become make me the a god biggest here. weather god in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. My New Year's Control resolution, the besides one-upping Austin Love, is to start to say no more often. My New Year's resolution, my New Year's resolution is to not make Austin any more resolutions because I only start to say no more often. My New Year's resolution is to not make any more resolutions because I only break them. My New Year's resolution is to be a weather god, to have the most accurate forecast in Northeast Ohio because I deserve it. My New Year's resolution is to be a weather god, to have the most Very accurate good. forecast in Northeast Ohio. The competition between our meteorologists is I pretty intense. That's so funny. Do you have one? Do you make I do. So I have Very a good. good one. The competition between our meteorologists right? yeah. is pretty intense. And then the other one I really love is to do something different every month. I do. So I have the same one. I love that. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's not. Like once every year. And then the other one I really love is to do something different every month that I haven't done before. I love that one. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's not. Like once I painted my apartment. It should be easy great. for you this year. And then when yeah, I have to paint it back, city for me. So yeah. I got my well, okay. It's supposed to be new restaurants, new experiences. I don't. It's pretty fun. It should be easy for you this year. I actually took city for me. I want to get more out of my day. So to do that, I'm going to get up earlier. I don't always, but I do have one this year. I actually took advice 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 heart, and I want to get more out of my day. So to do that, I'm going to try to get up earlier. I usually try to pick one personality trait. That is a good one. Focus in on it. I want to be a better listener. And by February, I'm usually. We're going to hold you accountable. I usually try to pick one. Make sure that I'm a better trait. listener in 2020. Right. Focus in okay, on it. Okay, Stephanie, um, she's and here by now February, to test our New Year's um, Eve trivia knowledge. We're going to oh, hold your hands. Yes. Okay, please do. Right. Make sure that I'm a better listener in 2020. First up, okay, Stephanie, um, she's here now to test our New Year's, 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 New Year's Eve trivia knowledge. Uh-oh. Yes, I am. All right, I have three questions for you. I'm going to say... First up, when was the first New Year's Eve party held in New York City's Times Square? Was it A, 1932, B, 1920, or C, 1904? I'd say 1904. 1904. I'm going to say... I'm going to make you sweat there and not give you the numbers. The answer is A, 1932, or C, 1904. Okay, oh, 1920. Okay, just wanted to make I figured it was about the turn of the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. C, 1904. Yeah. So you were right. You were right on there. Okay, so 1907. Okay, cool. Okay, because I figured it was about the turn of the numbers. Right, Times Square. Yeah, so you were right. You were right on there. Okay, so 7, 1907. How many different versions of the New Year's Eve ball have they changed? Because I think they changed the crystal. A, 5, B, 7, or C, 4. I'm going to go 5. B, 7, or C, 4. Or I'm sorry, B, 7 balls. It started out as wood. Now we have changed the crystal. I wonder what happened. I'm going to go 5. Maybe you're going to be damn somewhere. C, or I'm sorry, B, 7. Seven balls. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, so now he was, was he there in 1904? Yeah. I wonder what happened. Uh, uh, sure. How much did that first so. have to buy that? Was he there in 1904? How much did that first New Year's Eve buy that? I am heavy. I'm going to go A, 700 pounds. B, 1,000 pounds. C, 200 pounds. I'll say 1,000 pounds. You got it. 700 pounds. Iron's heavy. Yeah, how much is today? I'm going to go 11,875 pounds. I'll say 1,000 pounds. You got it. 700 pounds. Yeah, to compare to today's yeah, how much is today's one? Eleven thousand eight hundred and seventy-five pounds. Because that could be a nightmare. Yes, I think it's so worth it. Okay, thank you. I feel New Year's Eve stupid. Not a safety room, but now we know that could be a nightmare. Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. Thanks. Next on the menu, we are serving up some New Year's Eve cocktails that you can make with friends and family to enjoy New Year's Eve tonight. Stay with us. Tri-C has changed my life in more ways than I could have ever imagined. You start there and you opened up a door of endless possibilities. They really support their students financially, professionally, and personally. Tri-C is the
really good drinks. Rob Bell with Tito's Handmade Vodka is here to show us how to make drinks for your New Year's Eve parties. And you've got it all ready. A classic is a mule, but you got a little twist on it, right? Yeah, that's right. I call okay. it the uh, the Blitz and Mule. This okay. is an easy cocktail to uh, to execute, which would be fun for. Easy is good, not too complicated, so anyone can make it. So just put ice in your cup. Got a little meal mug. Okay. Got to have the mug, real shiny, real pretty. Makes it extra cold, so that Wonderful. makes it official. That's right. All right, so what's the first step? First step, ice these boys down. All right, here we go. Fresh lime. Half of a lime always is just about perfect for any mule. Okay. For the amount of citrus that you need. Good deal. So half a lime and then leave it in the cup. Yeah. Give it a little extra flavor there. Okay. All right. Then people know it's fresh. There you go. What's next? Vodka. Two ounces of vodka. That's right. This is a party. We want everyone feeling good. So Remember, measure that if you're messy. Two ounces of vodka. You could put lighter in there as always if you want to maybe stretch out that feeling. Always the best. All right. Ginger beer. Okay. Spicier the better. Mm. Lots of different brands out there. They're readily available everywhere. Okay. So so far it's really simple. We got lime. We got ginger beer. Now this is a classic mule. Got vodka. Now a little bit of holiday flair. We add uh, some cranberry to it. There it is. There's a twist that we were telling you guys about. Cranberry in the mule. Add some lushness to it. Okay. Pretty color as well. And then some Celion cinnamon simple syrup. Real easy to do. 50. Uh, sugar, 50 water, okay. add cinnamon, shake it up, you're Love good it. to go. You can make that easy, and if you didn't get that, you know what, you can Google it. It's real simple to make. Put that in there, and guys, I think we're done, right? Simple and delicious, and some fresh. I'm gonna have a sip of that, and then we're gonna move on to our next drink. Here we go, guys, cheers. Let me try that for you. Ooh, I like. I wonder how much of this I can have, since technically I'm working right now. Uh, just about 10 or 11, I believe. Mm. Very good, but now we have another one to make for you. This one is like the piece de resistance for your party. They're gonna be impressed. Let's go. This one's fun. This I call the ball drop spritzer. Okay. So we start off with these butterfly pea flowers here. You can order these from Amazon. You can order them anywhere. They're a color changing flower that you can infuse in about 30 minutes to any spirit or a simple syrup, anything like that. Okay, so this so takes a little bit of work. You gotta order that one online first. But, but it'll be worth it. They're cheap and they're readily available. It's not hard to get these from any major online okay. shopping site. All right, so what kind of alcohols are we gonna be using for this one? Uh, we're gonna be using Tito's Handmade Vodka. Okay. We're gonna be using uh, Elderflower Liqueur Saint Germain. Nice. Prosecco and soda. Sounds with some really citrus. good. Okay. It's gonna be pretty. And I will put ice in this one while you go ahead and get started because we got about one minute left and I wanna make sure Beautiful. everyone knows how to make this particular drink. Oh, that piece of ice is too big. Now walk me through it. So first you add your vodka in the bottom. Okay. It's been infused in there and everybody knows that yellow and blue makes green. Uh-huh. In this case, we're gonna do something kinda cool here. We're gonna add our soda. This is gonna blow up, they always do. Okay, let's watch, guys. Okay, okay. so we've got the vodka, the This is just soda. like a spritzer you'd have in the summertime. We've got a lime, a lemon, not lemon a lime. Lemon this time. A lemon. Now here's the here's the trick. Okay. This is where it gets pretty. We're watching. It's very pretty. Oh, y'all see it changing colors? See right there? Very nice. Beautiful, right? I love it. A little simple to balance off your lime. It's about three quarter ounce, three quarter ounce simple to citrus. Okay. And everyone loves St. Germain's and elderberry flavored liqueur. Delicious. All right, and guys, once you're done with this, you put your garnish on and have a party, toast it up. We're pretty much done and you can make this at home really, really simple. We'll have the recipes online for you. Thank you so much for coming here and making these for us. He's gonna add it and then we're gonna be done with this one. Guys, make this impress all of your guests. We will be right back, but there you go. There you have it, two fantastic drinks in less than a few minutes. Thank you so much, this You're was welcome. awesome. It's a pleasure, Remy. I'm gonna try this one too. We'll be right back. Can my side be firm? Mine's super soft.
was made for you. Welcome back to Lunch Break. Um, it is New Year's Eve, and that means that, like Romney and I, yes. you may at home might partake in a little bit of alcoholic libations. A drink Maybe or two. one. Or which, two. Or, but be responsible. Right. If you do, we are here now to help you avoid or at least minimize the effects of that hangover. Right. Here to help us, Dr. Frank Esper. He joins us from the Cleveland Clinic. He yeah. is our myth busting doctor, and we're going to do it with a game of fact or fiction. The doctor will throw out a statement, and we will vote whether or not that statement is true or false. Are we ready to go? I'm all set. Okay, doctor, what's the first one? All right, so there is a lot of myths and misconceptions about how to prevent a hangover or how to make that hangover go away the next day. And so we're going to go over a few of those. One of the most popular ones is taking a drink the next morning. It's called Hair of the Dog That Bit You Cocktail. So having an alcoholic drink the next morning when you wake up will help cure that hangover and make it go away and stay away. No way that's true. All right, I've got so. your online votes, and I hope this is true because... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it yeah. is it is so not true. No, right? it is, right. good, you're good. just Thank basically goodness. drinking more. You're just continuing your drinking from the night before. And so all it's doing is delaying the hangover. It may mm. make you feel better at the moment, but then it's going to come back and it's probably going to be even worse okay. uh, because uh, uh, of the next morning. So the, taking a drink of alcohol the next morning, not what you should do. Taking a drink of water is much better the next yeah. morning. I've always, I've always felt that. I, I mean, how could anything that's already put you in a bad state right. more of that right. make it better. I've Mentally, always thought that's crazy. I get it, but physically, no. Now, the fun Not fact, fun fact right. is where did that statement come from? Hair of the dog that bit you can't, comes from hundreds of years ago when people actually got bit by a dog and they were worried about rabies. They would clip hairs from that dog and put it in the wound to prevent rabies. Huh. What? It also does not work. Yeah, that, that's so, just as that's ridiculous so as the drink, more, the drink more alcohol. That's the, okay. another myth right there. <laughs> our, next, uh, our next statement is? All right, eating the next morning will help cure the hangover, will help the hangover go away. Eating the next morning will help cure a hangover. Nothing I think better than brunch the next day. Yeah, yeah. and it helps absorb back. that alcohol, I yeah. think. You know? it's, it's actually not about absorbing the alcohol. Oh, it's not. It is not. It's actually alcohol. It, the, the answer is yes, it's a fact. Okay, okay good. All right, there you go. Nicely but, done. but it's actually because your blood sugar is low. The next one, alcohol actually oh. saps a lot of uh, your sugar out of your blood. When you don't have a lot of uh, sugar in your blood, it's called hypoglycemia. Uh, when there's no blood sugar, your body is not very, very happy and you feel awful. Okay. Oh. Getting more food in you will help bring uh, uh, that blood sugar back back up. The problem though is that you don't want to eat greasy foods. So you don't want to eat a burger, you don't want to eat cold pizza or anything like that. You want something that's going to rise the blood sugar as quickly as possible. Things like oranges, orange juice, uh, fruits, things like that will actually bring up uh, the blood sugar a lot quicker. All right, very good. I have been doing that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. the greasy. Okay, next uh, statement. But the other thing, imme eating immediately after you're done drinking also does not help. So oh, this whole thing all about those late night water runs stuff, that I made in college. Oh, eating, wow. that's, not, that's not the case. Okay. No. All right. All right. Uh, next myth, uh, taking Motrin or Tylenol will help uh, uh, after, after you drink, immediately after you drink. If you take Motrin or Tylenol, it will help you the next morning when you wake up and you won't have a hangover. Yeah, I'm not so buying that. People Fun take fact. this headache medicine before you wake up with a headache saying, hey, it's going to help. And the answer is, it is a myth. Oh, it does not fiction. help. No. Yes. I thought it would prevent it. No. It, that's what a lot of people think. They think, oh, we're just, you know, doing a prophylaxis right before you uh, wake up. And the answer is, unfortunately, you fall asleep that night. The medicine wears off while oh, you're asleep. Yep. All right. And you wake up the next morning. The medicine's all out of your system. And then you still have your headache and you still have your problems. So it's always better to take it the next day. All right. Okay. So if you have headaches, if you have problems, go ahead and take medicine to help your headache. Uh, watch out, though, if you're doing a lot of drinking and Tylenol, those two do not mix. Mm. So be very, very careful about that. Tylenol and Tylenol alcohol. and That's uh, a double dose on yeah. the kidneys, Or, or right? acetaminophen. It's, right. uh, Tylenol's uh, drug know. name is acetaminophen. Okay. So very those good. do not go with drinking. All right, last question. Last one. Beer before liquor, ever sicker. Liquor before beer, never fear. Uh, is that true? No, no way. That works That's for me. True. I know how it, it makes me feel. I'm going I wonder it, if it's a placebo effect. I don't know, if it's, I don't know if I'm going with it. <laughs> uh, it is a myth. It is what? does not. The order oh does gosh. not make a difference. If, if beer before liquor, ever sicker. Liquor before beer, also ever sicker. It's still, <laughs> it is still, <laughs> it's still the same problem. It's the volume of alcohol that you okay. consume is associated. It, it drops your blood sugar down. It dehydrates you. Uh, it disrupts your sleep pattern. These are all the effects that lead to. Uh, uh, 
uh, problems the next morning when you wake up. So the best thing that you can do is um, get a good night's sleep, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate before you drink as well as after you drink is the yeah. best way to prevent uh, hangovers and make those hangovers go away as quickly as possible. All right, very good. Dr. Frank Esper from the Cleveland Clinic. Now we can ring in 2020 right. and feel right. good doing it. So enjoy tonight. Yep. Right. Drink water, water. before water. And, and after. after. And be yes. safe out there. Yes, absolutely. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year and lunch break is coming right back. Welcome back to Lunch Break. We're just a couple hours away now, um, 11 and a half from 2020, and the year actually sets up perfectly for big holiday celebrations. Yes. Here's what we found out when we looked at the calendar. Valentine's Day on a Friday, mm. perfect. Cinco de Mayo, perfectly on a Taco Tuesday. Yes. yes. Fourth of July, my birthday is a Saturday. Perfect. So you can have birthday and weekend celebrations. And that's not all? It is. Halloween is on a Saturday. Great for trick-or-treaters. That's awesome. Christmas 2020 is on a Friday. And finally, 2020 actually ends with New Year's Eve. I know that's a year away. On a Thursday evening, meaning 2021 will start with a three-day recovery weekend. I love that. That is yes. the best hangover tip at all. That, yeah, exactly. I mean, plan now. We're telling you a year in advance. Fun New Year's plans? New Year's Eve? I'm actually working. I'll be here with all of you guys. Okay, very good. I won the lottery. I'm off, so I'm going out. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Lunch break is off tomorrow. We're back on Thursday the 2nd. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Thanks for making free news a part of your afternoon. Watch us live wherever you are, on our website, on our apps, and on Hulu and Roku. No matter where you are, free news is there. It's time.